I'll be real wrong, bro. Hit me up. Just hit me up. I'll be real wrong if I don't give y'all this jump shot, bro. But that's just not in me. I can't keep this. I can't conceal this to myself, bro. When it's almost 4,000 of y'all that put y'all trust in me, y'all hit that subscribe button for me, bro. So I got to give y'all everything that I know about this game. I got to put y'all on game, bro. I gotta put y'all on. All I ask is if you're new to this channel, or if you're returning, bro, just please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button. And y'all already know what time it is, bro. I gotta do what I gotta do to make sure all my subs are some of the best 2K players in the community. Like every time somebody go against a comp player. I want them to just get dropped. I want them to just drop off anybody. They go, damn, whoever you drop off go send you a message, bro. How'd you get so good? How'd you do this? Tell them Nuke for 80 sent you, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just tell them Nuke for 80 sent you. We finna, we finna really be running a park like that. Oh, my bad. My name not Nuke for 80, no. Just tell them just Nuke sent you. <laughs> bro, we finna really start running a park like that. If you get any type of tips from me, jump shots, dribble moves, anything. Glitch methods, all that. Just tell them Luke Brady sent you, bro. We finna take over the 2K community. But yeah, bro. Today, bro, as y'all seen a little bit in the clips in, in the front of the video, and I'm having some more at the at the end, some more of a, like just highlight clips, jump shots, dunk, bro. Cause man, boy, 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 boy when I tell you. I've been having so much fun with this young player right here. This guy right here. This two-way slasher playmaker. You know the reason I'm having so much fun with this player is because it reminds me of my 2K16 player. And for anybody that, know, that didn't know, 2K16 was literally my favorite 2K ever. My favorite 2K. It was the most balanced 2K. I feel like it had the most skill gap. Like... You couldn't be trash and succeed in that game. You had to have skill. 2K15. We know about 2K15. It was a very fun game. 2K13 and 2K15. I had some of the most fun on those games. But when it comes to a balance of skill, fun, everything, just gameplay smoothness, 2K16 was the best 2K in my opinion. And that's what this player reminds me of. Because in 2K16, I had a 6-7 outside point guard and y'all know about them six seven they could literally do it all they can give you your boards they can shoot they could dunk dudes they could play clamp up defense they could dribble die they could do it all and that's literally what this player does to me he could clamp up any player big or guard he's fast he could rebound he could shoot lights out he could dunk up like vince in his prime like <laughs> excuse me bro y'all it's crazy bro but yeah, man, I'm finna put y'all onto this jump shot. Now keep in mind, this player is what y'all been getting the clips from, cause this is literally like the only player I've been using lately. So let's check out his attributes. 
only have a 71 three and only get gold up to gold quick draw so for anybody that was coming at me with those excuses when i had my office threat because y'all know my office is threat bro that man literally doesn't miss so i i low-key needed to make another player to see what y'all was talking about because a lot of other people telling me i only get gold quick draw only get this three-point rating that jump shot doesn't work nuke for 80 so i had to make my own player and test it out for myself now let me hit y'all with this jump shot real quick and all the day ones that want to learn the tips on how to use this jump shot at a very efficient rate and how to get your jump shot improved in general then stay tuned i got that for y'all y'all know new freddy got that for y'all so i call this jump shot the green jump shot i forgot it goes to jump shot creator i call this just green because that's literally all you get when you get this so you edit your jump so this jump shot is literally 98 base 98 and release where's that 75 now like i said in the blending is literally just it's no up release to the blend that's 100 percent 75 and like i said earlier bro i'm so happy i made this player because in all my other jump shot videos people used to just sit there and tell me no nuke for 80 it doesn't work bro like this only works for guards with quick draw you have a high three point rate and all this all that all that no bro at first i was believing y'all so when i first made this play i wasn't putting on my other jump shot that i had on my point guard i was not putting that on at all i was listening to y'all <laughs> soon as i threw on this jump shot i just became a demon bro because i'm familiar with the timing and that's literally all 2k 20 is about is timing if y'all didn't notice there's a lot of two-way slashers especially if you go to the comp stage you'll play against a lot of two-way slashers who have no shooting badges 49 three-point ratings and they green everything why because it's all about timing so nine times out of ten if a jump shot isn't working for you and it's proven to have a high green light window which is the jump shots that i provide for y'all is y'all bro i'm sorry y'all not timing that jump shot right but a little tips that i could give y'all real quick some of the basic staples that y'all know about me that i always try to put at y'all along is some of the things that help me shoot better so one thing everybody know go to the boost bar bro we don't treat the boost bar how we used to in the past i gotta get y'all to understand this because a lot of people call people trash for using boosts but literally everybody since 2k 18 has been using straight boosts why do you think these youtubers and just random people in the community want to win these events so much it's because it gives you unlimited boost in every category that's cheating but they're still getting boost you hear me so if you didn't spend the will to get unlimited boost or win the event just come over here hit up my girl she, her name shonda she'll get you right just buy as many boosts you need and a very underrated aspect of the game is play some my career bro when i first made this player he couldn't shoot to save his life both of my players bro they couldn't shoot to save their lives my career saves players bro building my players upgrading my players putting time in my players getting hot spots playing my career. i can't stress this enough you have to play my career bro my career makes your player peak level i know it's boring i know it's super boring at that you can get it online but you'll get a lot of ills a lot of bricks and you'll just soon just not want to play with that player anymore and i almost deleted this player so many times and i'm so happy i did it but yeah next thing we got on our list if you don't have the gym rat badge like i do these are very underrated in the game you have to do these bro those physical attributes mean a lot speed acceleration strength stamina bro those mean a lot trust me duty all the drills you need try your best in them to get plus four because you want to have that gatorade boost extra gatorade boost at the end like i have if y'all see some of my clips and then after that if you really got the vc like that hit up this guy this guy makes you a god yes specifically for my dunkers out there if you got or my playmakers if you got to dribble a lot 
and you still want to be able to dunk on dudes, those Gatorade boosts help you conserve a lot of energy so you'll be able to do that real smooth and easy. You feel me? <laughs> now, one of the last things that I like to do that I'm happy nobody else on YouTube talks about because it's literally my thing. I call it a badge refresh. Very slip on. Very slip on tactic. But if you haven't noticed, for me, and for a lot of other people I play with, they always feel like their badges start to deteriorate. And I say that to say, like, like, they badges don't feel as good. Like, they don't work as good as they used to when you first throw it on. You know how when you first throw on a badge, you use it. Oh, yeah, I love it bad. Then after a while, it don't feel the same, right? That's because you have to do a badge refresh. And I'm about to show y'all what that is right now. You <laughs> see? All you literally do is go in the Gatorade facility, I mean the practice facility with your team, and just work on every badge category. If you have the ability, you should if you play micro like I'm telling you to, but you should have the ability to pick your drills. So just work on the finishing drill, a shooting drill, um, defense drill, and a playmaking drill, and it refreshes all the badges and you will feel that same quality. But yeah, man, there's just a few of the tips I got for y'all young boys. Hey, when you drop somebody off, tell them just nuisance. And I'm out, man. Please hit that like, subscribe button. Peace.